Thank you, Dr. Monia, and good morning, everyone. My name is Bach, and I'm a probiotic microorganism. Today, I am proud to lead you in the discovery of Probiotico, the fabulous world to which my friends and I belong. Our trip couldn't start without a key person here in Probiotico, Dr. Vera Monia, head of business development, and if I may say so, a great friend of mine. Thank you very much, Bach, for your nice presentation. Now, let's go back in time to have a look at our company history. Probiotical has been in the probiotic field since 1985, but it has always been a leader in the field of lactic ferments. That's because Probiotical was born from our family company Alce, which was founded in 1950. The innovative idea of its founder, my grandfather, was to produce direct inoculum lactic ferments to produce cheese directly at the dairy. He was the first to have this idea in the dairy field. The company started selling lactic ferments for gorgonzola cheese, but then in the 70s, 80s, there was a business extension. The production was extended to other types of lactic ferments for all the most important Italian cheese types, such as mozzarella, grana padano, fontina and many others. So, in 1985, Probiotical was born in a context with more than 30 years of experience in the lactic ferments field to study and produce probiotic lactic ferments, isolated in men for human health. The first 10 years of the company were mainly dedicated to research and development. Later, from 1995 until now, the company has constantly grown, opening to new markets, not only Italy and Europe, but also United States, Japan, United Arab Emirates, Turkey and many others. Probiotical has recently created a new research and development center where new probiotic strains are constantly studied for health applications. The research and development center is the core of the company. It is the most advanced research center on probiotics in the world and it is made up of more than 1,200 square meters of clean room laboratories, a sterile area. Every year, Probiotical invests about 10% of the annual turnover in research and development, if compared to the Italian average, 1.6%, and to the European one, 2.5%. This gives you an idea of the importance that our company gives to research and development. Our research center has produced more than 65 patent families up to now, which were deposited and acknowledged worldwide. These patents concern innovative products containing probiotics, but also technologies able to increase their effectiveness and stability over time. Anyway, Buck, would you like telling us something about patents? That's for sure, Vera. Patents are a difficult subject, but I'm prepared. Thanks to advanced research studies, Probiotical developed and patented the use of probiotic microorganisms for the prevention and treatment of several infections and diseases. Gastroenterological diseases like IBS, IBD, constipation and diarrhea, respiratory infections, candidiasis, bacterial vaginosis, recurrent cystitis, inflammation of the urinary tract, prostate inflammation, atopic dermatitis, hypercholesterolemia and obesity. But that's not all. We also developed products for colic, allergic asthma, oral infections, and ultimately also a product that can improve the athletic performance in sports. Plus, we have many important patents for manufacturing procedures and technologies. You must know that here in Probiotical, my friends and I are manufactured to be allergen-free. That means we are free from all allergens, and so we are suitable for everyone, even for children. And we can survive at room temperature for a long time up to two years in any pharmaceutical form, even in the most complex ones, such as oily suspensions and chewable chocolate draggies. Mmm, good. Then, as you know, Vera, we can also be microencapsulated, and this allows us to reach the intestine alive and viable, in a number five times higher compared to the non-encapsulated microorganisms, a result demonstrated by clinical studies.
Probiotica è la prima azienda al mondo che è conceived and built esclusively for the manufacturing and study of probiotic microorganisms. This means that probiotical facilities were built in the optimal manner to have the highest professional standards possible. Look, here we are in our fermentation department where we are fed to grow exponentially. And that's our freeze-drying department, another very important place, where water is taken away to give us a long shelf life. Probiotical offers to all its customers a complete service, from the isolation of the bacterial strain, to the study and understanding of its specific use to the in vitro studies and human clinical studies to demonstrate its effectiveness that will be subsequently published in international journals. Only after these steps, the finished product is manufactured target for a specific therapeutic area. Probiotical developed different product lines containing probiotics ranging from women's health with products useful against cystitis, vaginal candidiasis, against bacterial vaginosis or for the folic production. Or lines specifically designed for children or for many other areas, urology, dermatology, cardiology and gastroenterology. Probiotica can produce food supplements, but also class 2A medical devices for all our use, containing bifidobacteria and lactobacilli, thanks to the recent development of a specific and innovative patent. Back, say goodbye to our friends. Well, our journey inside Probiotica's world has come to an end. Now it's time to go back to my mission, helping you stay healthy. See you soon and... Good health to everyone.